Hey, yeah, we're back with more of Darkwing Duck, where in the last episode we uh, took out the uh, downtown area and the uh, bridge leading to St. Canard. So now we got one more stage left in this particular part of the game, and that means we gotta take on the Liquidator in the sewers. Although I would appreciate if Liquidator was like a greedy banker or something and he just like robbed people and sold all their stuff. That's just another way of liquidating someone's assets. But anyway, uh, unlike Freakazoid, Darkwing Duck can actually handle the sewers, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, just get going here. Although I do like that uh, some of the enemies are just eggs. And then for those of you who are fans of Garfield as a kid, uh, also there was one character that was just mostly an egg and legs. I think his name was like Sheldon or something. Yes, that was from Orson's Farm. Pretty funny part of the uh, series though. Either way, um, not really know much else about Garfield, except I did have a couple comics. But we're not talking about that, we're talking about Darkwing Duck now. Um, the sewers is a pretty interesting level, and what I do like about it is that, uh, it does uh, reward you for going out of your way to explore. And then also it, uh, does have some parts to it that, uh, can be pretty tricky, but also pretty manageable. And then speaking of rewards for going out of your way to explore, we got ourselves some lives here. So we just gotta take care of this. And the, or this particular level is gonna throw this gimmick at us a lot throughout this uh, stage. Where we have to uh, jump up and drop down from platforms in order to avoid spikes. And then like I said in the uh, first part, they uh, do give you a lot of similar gimmicks, they just do them in different ways. Which is one thing I like about this particular game and its level design. But either way, uh, we gotta deal with uh, some invisible enemies and some dark stuff. And one extremely creepy looking shadow over there. Uh, you can uh, latch onto these things and then turn on the lights that way. So let's just go ahead and uh, just get this guy out of the way. Just because it's really easy to land on this banana peel and then that's uh, plenty of time for that crow to kill you. Or, well, not kill you, but hit you, you know what I mean. But either way, as I've said before, banana peels, never any fun in cartoons, are always deadly. Let's see, uh, where are we now? I just got a little bit more to go here. I think there's definitely gonna be a guy that pops up here. Yeah, I was waiting for him. Let's see, yeah, let's just go ahead and deal with this guy. Um, this is one section where you do have to take your time, otherwise you can, uh, end up getting yourself killed if you try and bum rush it. So, uh... Let's see, actually I want this. This guy's gonna make the uh, boss fight a little bit easier. And then it's also gonna be easier to deal with these guys. Just like so. And then we don't even have to be in harm's way in order to uh, take those guys out. Which is always good. Doing things the easy way, that's my style. Well, not really. Definitely doesn't apply to me in real life. So let's see, uh, yeah, this guy's uh, not gonna shoot until you shoot him. Or he's not gonna jump until you shoot him. So that's just something to keep in mind. And fortunately, you can hide from the gator here. At least that makes things a little bit easier. Okay, good, made it. I just gotta inch my way over. Let's see, and then just... Okay, good. And then we found the bonus stage, so that's always good. So what we gotta do for this bonus stage is just uh, shoot the containers and then uh, get all the stuff. And then I do find this to be a lot easier than the uh, one we encountered in the uh, bridge. Just because uh, it's really uh, hard to uh, just line up properly and then get the boat lined up too. I mean, I find this one to be a lot easier. And then if you're lucky, you can get a lot of points and then uh, some gas power-ups and then uh, maybe some extra lives too. Just like so. Actually, wait, I think I want that. Just because I want uh, plenty of units to work with. Okay, good, so we got 99 units to work with. And then uh, let's just do away with them. Okay, good. We uh, somehow managed to jump over that guy. So at least that's a little bit easier to deal with. 
Okay, good. Yeah, so now that he's out of the way, we can just deal with this guy the regular way. And yeah, I'm not gonna... Uh, you know what, I'll just go ahead and let that one pass. And then, uh... Yeah, we'll just leave you alone. You know what, you get to live. Because you're a good kangaroo. Let's see, and then uh, just get going here. Yeah, see, this is the tricky part right here. You just gotta jump down at the right time. And then also drop down at the right time. And then just make your move accordingly. Yeah, this part can uh, be pretty tricky at first, and you can uh, die a few times because of it. But, I mean, fortunately, the game gives you plenty of lives to work with. So I'll just go ahead and take that. Ah, damn it, didn't need to be getting hit right before the boss. So here we are at the Liquidator, and he's a uh, pretty interesting villain in the show. I mean, uh, what he was was just, um, like a mutant dog that got, uh, mutated with water. And he's gonna do a few things. He can either, uh, summon those fish, or he can summon, like, these blob things. And then, uh, whenever you see the blob things, just, uh, make sure to jump. And then I'm staying high here just because it's uh, easier to get a shot off at him. And then avoid these things. And then I missed him. And I'm just uh, going with the uh, Thunder Gas here just because I feel like it's uh, definitely easier to get your hits in. Okay, I might actually die here. Let's see, we're getting a little bit closer here. I also do like how the uh, sound effects are the same as in uh, Mega Man 3 with a splashing. And then, uh, this game actually did run on the uh, Mega Man 5 engine. Well, shit. Um, alright, let's try that again. Especially because I got less gas now. And then we're just gonna jump and run here. And then that's really the easy way to go about doing this. So you're gonna... Okay, good. I mean, the bosses real here really aren't the easiest, but then again, uh, some of them are beatable. Or then again, I'm just doing a bad job with them. That too. Alright, well, at least I got that past that guy a little bit easier that time. So, yeah, that uh, didn't really go the best, but I mean, at least we end up getting the job done. And then they do give you uh, points for clearing the stage, so at least we got one of those lives back. You know what? That's annoying. Yeah, I just had to uh, edit out a uh, truck passing by. Unfortunately, my uh, window unit has its air conditioning in, so, uh... I am gonna pick up more noises like that. But either way, uh, welcome to the second half of the game, and we got uh, three more stages to uh, choose from. So we're gonna be taking on Megavolt in the next stage, and we're gonna go to the wharf. Also, I do like uh, just the way uh, the whole flying animation is. So either way, uh, we're here at the docks or the wharf, whatever you want to call it. So. Uh, See, what we gotta do, of course we gotta make tricky jumps, I mean that's uh, always standard of a water level. Eh, you know what, let's just get rid of you. Okay, you can get rid of yourself, that works too. So let's see, right here is the bonus stage, so let's just go ahead and take this on. And then we get the uh, same thing we did last time, so you know what, I'm just gonna edit this out. And then I'll just show you what I get afterwards. Okay, we're back here, and fortunately, I was able to fill up on plenty of gas. So, I mean, I got uh, plenty of reinforcements to uh, work with. So, let's just go ahead and get going here. And then this time, they have uh, these, uh... Or these, um, things on wheels. Or these, uh... I don't know what you call them. I guess, uh, handles on wheels that you can grab. And then I also do like this, too. And then, like I said before, this was using the uh, Mega Man 5 engine, 
so they do, uh, use, um, pretty similar background layouts. And what I'm using now is the, uh, heavy gas on these magic lamps. And mostly because the heavy gas is just gonna be a lot more useful here. Well, damn. Um... Yeah, it is gonna be kinda easy to get ourselves killed here. Especially with these unnecessary respawning. Okay, that actually worked out in my favor. So either way, uh... Let's see, Megavolt was a pretty, uh, memorable villain. His, uh... Ability... Was really around electricity and using that. Okay, I gotta figure out a way to uh, get around this. And then, fortunately, you can uh, jump over the screen. Well, that's not good. Okay, good. You know what, that's annoying. Uh, this is gonna be a little bit tricky. Uh, we just gotta wait for the platform and then move. Okay, good, made it. Yeah, that's uh, definitely one that could be a... Uh, that could cause a lot of death. Yeah, I had to get hit by something there. Oh well. So fortunately, the uh, good use of the heavy gas is that you can just get rid of these stupid annoying... Uh, I don't know, what are they, dogs or something? So either way, we just gotta uh, make some tricky jumps here. And then fortunately, the rest of the stage really isn't that tough. But I actually want that. I mean, we're actually almost done with the stage. Just as soon as we can, uh... You know what, that's actually pretty annoying. The fact that uh, your shot can go off screen. So, um... Yeah, either way, I did like Megavolt as a villain, and that's definitely one thing Darkwing Duck definitely got right was uh, the villains. Especially, uh... Good characters and good writing. I mean, it definitely did a lot right for its time. And then I'll just take care of you. So either way, I probably should talk about more of what I've been up to. Um... Yeah, I'm probably gonna get hit here. Uh, let's see. Either way, what I am doing is, um... I think I am gonna start streaming pretty soon. And I'm just, uh, running a few more test streams. Got a... Oh, piece of crap. Anyway, um... I got some more, uh... Stuff to, uh help with streaming, especially, uh, having to set up OBS and looking up at a bunch of tutorials and whatnot. I mean, fortunately, I was able to do it, so... I mean, we just got a few more things left to polish up, and then hopefully it'll be ready soon. But either way, here we are with Megavolt, and really with uh, Megavolt, what we gotta do is just, um, stay away from him, and then he can fire uh, two different shots, either, um, that one he shoots right at you, or that, uh, one that he, um, does up in the air, and then it, uh, could come down and end up hurting you. And then we end up getting shocked there. It will. So, let's see, all you gotta do is just, uh, really what I find the uh, most useful strategy to do is just stay in the middle. And then occasionally jump to his level. But, I mean, outside of that, this guy's not too tough. I mean, I would probably consider this the easiest stage out of the, uh, second half ones. So, I mean, that's one of the reasons why I did it first. That's because I kind of had some trouble in the sewers and then, uh... Just ended up dying there. Alright, and with that said, I will see you next time for the, uh... Last two stages before the, uh, final stage. See you then.